Writing content 15 times faster sounds like a dream. That's exactly what we're going to do in today's video with examples, giving you prompts, giving you templates, and giving you a file that you can download for free that will allow you in to write out content for 30, 50, 100 different types of articles all in one go. Writing content with AI has become the biggest thing in 2023, and it looks to change multiple industries. We see Google, Facebook, Amazon, all of the big tech companies letting staff go. More than likely, this is because they're reallocating resources towards AI rather than the old jobs, which had been going on for the last while. We see perks from all of these big businesses disappearing like massages and Google and many other things. So I want to show you how you can accelerate your content writing, give yourself a big leg up and get yourself ahead of all of your competition all in a few minutes, giving you the best resources and some templates to get you started. Let's get into it. We're now two months into ChatGPT being live. Competitors are starting to come on board and there are many new benefits that are starting to come out. The limitations of ChatGPT are being overstruck by plugins. If you check out our last video, which you can see in the top, you can click that and watch those eight super powerful plugin extensions that you can use for ChatGPT. While it is an absolutely amazing tool, we are seeing that it is constantly bombarded by too many users. And if you're looking to do client work or work for your own business, you aren't able to get on half the time. It is becoming troublesome for businesses trying to write AI content using it. They have now introduced a paid version. So if you want to try overcome that, you can do that. In this video, we're going to have a look at a lower costing way for you to use chat GPT while linking it in to generate multiple pieces of content all in a few minutes, which will give you a huge leverage over your competitors and different people that you're looking to beat. I have put together a resource for you, which you can get in the description, which will give you free resources to see free prompts, a step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up. If you want a step-by-step -step guide, we'll also do that in this video. It also includes a formula where you just need to put in your question, which will show you how to get those questions and you copy and paste and the AI tool is going to come back and answer all of it for you. We've also put together a list of AI resources for you to use to accelerate your business growth. If you're looking to use something different than chat GPT, or if you're looking for advertising or multiple other marketing activities, and this list is getting bigger as time goes on, our prompts list is getting bigger, and I'm just looking to save you time and get you set up. I'm assuming that you already know what ChatGPT is, and I don't need to explain what it is, except that it is an AI content writer. If you want to understand what ChatGPT is, click the video above, but we're going to go straight into the benefit for you guys today. So ChatGPT, is the free open source version from OpenAI. And what we want to use is we want to use the API link through ChatGPT, which takes two or three minutes to set up. It is very low cost. You don't need to spend a $50 cost per month like the pro version of ChatGPT. And you've got options to scale it as you go. We also include lots of other resources which go from freemium so you can start off all of these things for free if chat gpt is not working for you right now and you're just looking to generate content as fast as possible so there are three different tools that we want to download today the first one that you want to download which is free is this google chrome extension it is called seo minions and this is going to help you generate multiple questions within a few seconds for what people already search on google so you would click this here to add it to your Chrome device, we already have it. So we're going to jump into Google. For my example, I run a marketing agency, so I'm going to focus it on that. So pay-per-click advertising. I'll put in my search. We see our paid ads on top. Then we see our organic results below that. And then we've got SEO minions, which we which we can see here. I do use Uber Suggest Chrome extension, which is another good SEO tool if you want to use that. But what we see in this one is we see the quantity of listings that show up for the result, if people have FAQs. What we want to do is click the drop down menu, go to PAA, so people also asked section. So this is taking the information from this section here, people also ask. This is really good to find the actual questions people go to Google and search for your business today. So we'll click on PAA, four levels, and we are going to click go. And now it's running through the search results on Google's homepage and it's going to generate a Excel file that we're going to be able to download and open with all of the questions that we potentially want to use to get ChatGPT to link in for us. 
I'll show you a step ahead to see what we're going to look at. So here are all the steps. There are 15 different steps that we're going to quickly go through. We've got a large list of prompts that will help you generate better responses from ChatGPT. And we've set up a template for you to be able to input the questions within a few seconds and to generate all of these answers. So all of what I'm highlighting here on the right hand side are all AI responses. So I have entered barely any information into that and I've received back 30 different answers, which would be perfect for small blog articles, blog paragraphs, go back onto the homepage of Google and we can see then the bottom left a file has downloaded. So we will open that. Then we have the people also asked section, the parent type of question that was asked or what it is, the actual text that relates to it, and then a URL title. So what already ranks on Google for that question and the title that is already there. So we can use that to our benefit to see who is ranking in position one, position two. We can take in their content and manipulate it for ourselves to help beat their ranking. Now, what I like to do at this point is to read through the different questions that are displaying and type in yes. The ones that I type yes for are the ones that I do want to have chat GPT write content for. And I have highlighted yes on around 10 different questions. Okay, so we've got our questions that we want to get ChatGPT to answer for us in bulk. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna come across to the template Google Sheet that we're providing you for free. Go to the tab content overview. We are in the content overview tab, which is templated for you. You can edit this as you feel like, but we have set up a guide to save you some time. So let's have a look at the different columns and what's happening on the sheet. So the prompt, so we want to set up a prompt that we don't need to keep asking and we want to paste that in for, for our request. So that could be act as a copywriter, act as a salesperson, and you get more specific. We have a prompts tab here, which has all of the different prompts to help us out. So there are multiple different prompts that are pre-created for you. And this is going to save you a lot of time and give you different ideas on what kind of prompts that you can ask ChatGPT to do for you. So we're going to generate the AI directly in Google Sheets saving us any time needing to go to any other tool, which is pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we are saying act as a professional, professional copywriter, answer this question, writing it for a 10 year old, 10 year old reader and a professional voice for SEO for Google. Use the before after bridge method. The question is, so that's all pre-made for you. So I'm going to paste in the questions that I've just downloaded and copied from SEO Minions Chrome extension that we did two minutes ago. So there are all of our questions. Then we include a piece of text to say, include the following inside, include the following inside of your answer and expand on this idea. And we say, write with 170 words. Currently the setup that we're using here is giving us 170 words. It's not giving us really long form content like you can do directly in ChatGPT. This is ideal if you are looking for different ideas for different pieces of content and you want it to be structured, you can copy and paste it. You could set up an automation to suck the information from Google Sheet and import it directly into your website. There are many things that you can start doing and building additional automations from what I'm showing you here. This is as basic as we can do. And this this can only be grown on and this is just going to get more e expansive and exciting as we go. We've added a section in here called add your own content. So if you've got your own opinions that you want to make sure that is included within the text, this is where you put it. This is also important if you want specific and unique SEO content that relates back to your business. So you can tell it that your business name is X, that you've been open and available for 35 years, you're based in Ireland, many other things, do you have a warehouse? And this red column here is called combined text. All this is doing is putting all of these different pieces of text together, which will allow us to use the AI prompt in a second. So this is putting all of the text together into one cell. And then the final one, this is where the magic happens. And this is where we're going to hit equals AI bracket. And then it gives us our prompt and our temperature and our model. But all we're going to use for the moment is prompt. So it's just equals AI bracket, and then highlight that piece of text, close the bracket, press enter, and our content is going to be generated for us within a few seconds. This is using chat GPT API using their playground, which you can start off for free, but it will start off costing you money the more you use it. So you could end up spending under one euro, or if you want to generate a lot of content, you want to create lots of different content pages for websites or different clients, you could end up spending a lot of money on this. But if you're looking to scale, this is the perfect place to start. Okay, so our question was, what is 
pay-per-click advertising. What is PPC advertising? And putting our combined text together, the answer that we get is before, after, and bridge. Pay-per-click advertising is a type of digital marketing that businesses use to get their products and services seen by potential customers. After pay-per-click advertising is a great way for businesses to reach their target audience. And it goes on with more good information, which I'm pretty happy about. So what we now have is we have generalized information for a very specific question that we have. If we want to make it more specific, we add in a piece of text to add our own content. And that is going to make it more bespoke for ourselves. Or what you could do is you could add in your already written answer and ask it to rewrite that answer for you. But the purpose of this document is to save you time. So let's assume that you're looking for multiple questions to be answered at one time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to copy the cell that generated the AI content for us, and I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to paste. Now we can see all of these sections are saying loading. That means ChatGPT is doing its business and will only take a few seconds to generate all of these answers for us. So here we have the question, what is a good pay-per-click strategy? Again, giving us the answer. How do I create a pay-per-click advertisement? Giving us guide, telling us that we need to know who our target audience is, what the keyword is, and how to create an effective ad. Understanding SERPs, search engine page results search engine result pages. The limitation that I mentioned is that the content gets cut off. So we're able to generate 170 roughly words for the content. So if you're looking for large form content, do it directly in chat GPT. If that's not working, use one of the AI content writers that we've included in the link below, which you'll see in this document. So you'll see a giant list of AI tools. It's a medium sized list. Don't want to overwhelm you or me at the moment. And we're looking to refine the list and make it better for anyone who wants to come in and to use this list. Okay, so out of the 15 steps, we've already gone a large way through it. I already have the API set up for ChatGPT. What you're going to do is you're going to go to ChatGPT Playground, which we've got the link in the document. And this will allow you to set up the API within a few seconds. What you need to do is you need to enter in your billing information and then you get a piece of Google Sheet, click equals AI bracket and put in your prompt. Back in the playground by ChatGPT, which gives us the headquarters rather than using ChatGPT, we want to use the main net. ChatGPT itself will be taking information from this page. That's why you'll find ChatGPT may not work sometimes, what this should still work for you all of the time. You go up to your right, go into your profile, you want to click up onto the right and click on account. That will bring you to this page showing your account and there is API keys. When you get to this point, you can click create new secret key. It will generate a code, which is, this is the only time this is ever going to be displayed to you. So make sure to copy that code. If you're only using it for this exercise, I recommend you use different API keys for different exercises. We are just going to copy it and we're not going to paste it or save it anywhere else. We go back into the Google Sheet and in the Google Sheet, it is asking us to put in the API key. So this is the code that you're going to put in to activate the API link. You're then going to just paste the code in, which will allow ChatGPT to be live instantly through Google Sheets. And that's actually all the steps that I needed to show you. But let's have a quick look at some of the prompts and go through two or three of the different examples. So we're going to pick our copywriting content model. We're going to say our prompt for this example is act as a copywriter, use the ADA model in the structure of this content, writing it for a 10 year old in a professional voice for SEO for Google. The question is equals, we'll go back into our content overview. On the left hand side, we're going to paste in our new prompt. I get rid of, I get rid of all the other ones for the minute. So now the question is, what is pay-per-click advertising? But we're going to use the ADA model. And there we have it. We've got some new content that has been generated by ChatGPT. It's given us an overview of pay-per-click advertising, the ADA model, and it is broken down uh, atten attention, interest, desire. It is missing action. And that's the one limitation we have. If you're looking for longer questions, this might cut out a snippet of the very end of it. 
it is missing action at the very end here. So we will be looking to update this document to make this process easier for you. What I recommend is you go to the description of this YouTube video and you're going to take that link, open it up and you'll see the same thing I'm looking at right now. And you're going to save it as a bookmark. And that way, when we update the document, you're going to see those updates and you don't need to go and find new documents to see that happen. Okay, that's today's video. That's showing you how to write content 15 times faster. You're going to go and you're going to use the free SEO Chrome plugin. You're going to go download our template in Google Sheets and you're going to paste in the questions that you want and you'll link in Open API Playground, which is the best model for you to use, linking in their API, which will allow you to have more control over what you want to do. And you can generate as many secret keys as you want so you can start expanding and exploring. Oh, also, if you're wondering how much has it cost, to use Open API Playground. I've currently spent $1.90 and I've written out around 200 of these examples before making this video to make sure that I was able to understand the process better to give you the best information as fast as I could. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I've been John.